shadow of judgment. In case you're wondering why I'm not wearing my rings, it's that hot and I literally have blisters on my fingers, but that's okay because it's not going to inhibit me or anything. It just sucks because those are my wedding bands and it's just like, oh, I don't ever wear them and I go click, 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 click and I can't do that, but that's okay. We'll continue. Shadow judgment time, kids. For anybody who's new, what Shadow of Judgment? What are you doing? Light bulb? You settle down. For those who are curious about Shadow of Judgment, this is where we look in the nooks, the crannies, the circles, and the deepest corners to figure out what the fuck is going on in your neighborhood, right? Things that are unknown to the subconscious. Maybe you're even in your shadow side. Maybe someone's got your shadow side on you. First group, Leo's card, fire signs. You're up first. Cool. All right. <laughs> Aries, as always, you go first. It's been a while since you fire signs have been up first. But that's cool. Okay. So let's see what's coming up for you this week, Aries. Hmm? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ah. All right. So far, we have, like, using the past to go into the future, or leaving the past behind to go into the future. Um, feeling like there's no reason to concentrate on it anymore. Uh, shit offers from it. Just trying to concentrate on it just doesn't produce anything of value, and you'd rather just go to the future. We have the Seven of, pe of like, Pentacles, Cups. Heartbreak. Ooh. Now, what are you doing? You're just looking at that ace and that broken heart. All impulsive like and shit. Like, it just springs up and happens. Ooh. Oh my, Aries. It seems like you got a lot of shit going on with y'all. But, there is hope in this. Yes, there is. Mm, you might have been dickish. Might have just been a little dickish. Okay, Aries, let's look at, right? So far, you guys are, you know, walking away from a past relationship because, like, there are other options available, or it's the person you're dealing with, right? But this is for you, so I'm assuming this is you. Now, there's a lot of anxiety, or there's some word of caution here going forward, like something that's going to trigger your timbers, right? And it's like, there's this offer here, and it looks good. It's the Ace of Pentacles, right? It always looks good. However, it's not. And there's a reason why there's a door there, and it's like, take the door, not the offer. Because, like, if you take that door impulsively... It'll lead to a wish coming true, right? But the offer is what's going to cause the anxiety right here. Now, this might make you, like, you're really pissed because you really don't know what to do. You have all these options. You need to move on from the past. You got anxieties, right? Over here, it's like, you got something going on where, like, you don't want to think about what's breaking your heart. And you don't want to communicate about it either. Like, it's like you can't fix yourself from it or something just damaged, wounded your soul just a bit. And it's like this la this indecision right here, the Two of Pentacles, is causing you to be really, really hasty with your decision making, I think, this week. Oh yeah, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and this is for the week of the 19th to the 26th. Almost forgot about that. My bad. But that was yours, Aries. Also, just remember, guys, fire signs. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just a card game. It doesn't work if you don't believe in it, right? Right. All right. Leo, it is your turn for the Shadow Judgment for your week. Let's see what's going on in your little happy, happy world, right? We got the High Priestess Reverse. Either someone is ignoring her intuition. Yeah, okay, someone's ignoring her intuition. Gotcha. All these just popped out for you real quick. You're in a hurry. Yeah, you are, like, what? Okay. Um. Huh. 
Huh. Ew. Um, okay, Leo. So, like, whatever is going on with you is, like, mmm. Some really crazy tasty shit, right? Damn, Leo. So, what I'm looking at right here for your shadow, Leo. Someone's like ignoring her intuition about like coming together with somebody, either a Sagittarius or just the whole like coming together in a union, like church or melding ideas. I agree to disagree, disagree, exchanging beliefs, shit like that. Um, someone's ignoring your intuition about that. And they're really sad because they wanted to go on an adventure. But now after looking, like they went on an adventure when they were young. They started at a zero slate. But now that they're looking with the Seven of Pentacles and they're an old person, they're looking begrudgingly at the situation. Something to do with a um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Queen of Cups. Someone who holds all of her feelings in, but she does, and she stares at it with an intensity of like, God damn, I hate this. Like, how do you drink out of a cup with a lid? Why do I need a cup with lid? Nobody else has a cup with the lid, but I do, and I can't, uh, like, you know, like, a really impressive cup, but it's not for drinking, and it just pisses her off, because it's like, this is my cup, and it should be for drinking. What the hell, you know? And, you know, you're paying more attention to what was over here, and you might possibly be holding your emotions in for some reason, but on this side, it's like, some offer wasn't made, and it swiftly led to a tower moment. And I'm not sure what that tower moment is, but I'm probably going to pull a card to see. But it brought celebrations. Like, it could be an earth sign, because you guys have been dealing with an earth sign somewhere. Every once in a while in your readings, it's like the earth pops up, but so does the water sign too. But it's like, this person not making an offer, maybe to make an offer quickly moves the tower in place. So, there's celebration. It's like... What is this tower, I wonder? Like, I want to know. What's the tower? Wish fulfillment? So, someone not making an offer causes an illusion to come down, which was a wish fulfillment? And looking... like someone's looking for bad news and that's what fulfills their wish my husband's a Leo and like I'm not gonna put shit out with him you know cause like life right but it's like <laughs> looking at this really makes me wonder Because it's like this dude started out young, and then now that he's older, he's looking over all of this and what he wishes he could take back. That's your shadow, Leo, because I really don't want to look at that. Like, like for my own personal little lion, it's kind of, um, that's unsettling to me. But, Sagittarius, it's your turn, so get the hell up here, y'all. It's time to celebrate. Or cry, whatever one you want to do. It, it really, it, like, if you want to, you can cry if you want to. It's your party right now. You do it. Just don't fucking cause everybody else to cry, because you have a habit of doing that. Like, you can really make people uncomfortable if you don't like them. <laughs> or you just want to demonstrate that, you know, like, you're not going to like them if they keep their shit up. Which I totally respect, because I got Sag rising. Um... I think I'm a Saturn and Sagittarius, too. I think? I don't know. I have to look over all that shit again. I can never remember my own chart. Because I have a memory of a goldfish. Okay. The Hanged Man. It's time is of the essence, and you got to get moving to the future. Because wish fulfillment's on hand. Good deal. Because last week, Sagittarius, like, was it last week? 
Did I do these? Yeah, I did these last week because I got confused about the 19th. Yeah, it's like, um... Last week was pretty crazy for y'all. It's like... Something was going on and I just... I don't remember, but I did not like it one fucking bit. Your whole emotions in. Got a burden on ya. Wish you feeling about the relationship. Oh, okay. Uh, ah, someone's got the wrong idea. Ah, dudes! The hell? Dudes! Okay. Guys! Focus. <laughs> Not really. This doesn't have to be you. Cross watchers beware, of course. But like, you know, if this is you, Sagittarius, what is going on, man? Like... Oh, okay. That okay, never mind. <laughs> that answered it. Is there I'm gonna need to pull one for the other side too. Oh man, yeah, okay. <laughs> this dude's all the way in the future looking back at all of this shit, like God. Yeah. This is like from a cycle previous, you're in a new cycle. You're already at the crossroads. You're about to step into the new cycle. Honestly, a lot of us have gone through a 13-year fucking stretch. You know? Like, mine... Like, usually my cycles are going, like, in 5, 10 increments, varying, depending. But, um... A lot of us went through just a 13-year period from now since, um... 2006, where it was just like, God damn, how much harder can this shit get? And then it's like... You look at this guy, and it's like, I, I wasn't asking for a challenge, thank you very much, but whatever. Now. Sag, it looks like you are at a crossroads, but there's something you're holding in emotionally, and that's not the right idea, because then people take that shit, and, and you know, all these bitches be petty. All of them. All of them be petty, and I feel like you're also going into the petty stage, but that's not the right thing to do. Now, you do have a wish right here. You have a wish fulfillment for whatever fucking reason. I can't see behind the curtain. There's nothing behind the curtain, right? But your wish fulfillment is for a couple to break up. Like, you want... Like... Like, you want two people to almost be separated, and it's like... Why? Are, are you interested in one of them? Because, like, it looks like in the future he's just going to be nothing but a burden, and it's like they'll end up being an enemy in your house if you're not careful, you know? And then you're going to look back on it like, I fought all this shit for nothing. I, I put all this shit in for all of this and this and this and this, and it's boom. Just stupid. It's stupid. It's all freaking stupid, man. Damn, that's harsh. Damn, I should have put lotion on my skin because I shaved. Damn it. Fuck okay. it. What's up with this um, lack of victory? Like, okay, I don't want to be a dick here, but are you guys trying to split somebody up to get the other person or just to get revenge on somebody? Cause this dude's looking really hard at these pentacles and it, it, you know, this is almost like revenge. What's with this lack of victory? Someone was out of options. And that was something they needed to work on. So whoever this person who might be trying to come in for the wrong reasons or even this possible enemy that wants to come against you. It's like, it wasn't that the options were shit, it's that nobody wanted to come together to work with these options. And it's like, wh whatever this is, Sagittarius, I feel like this is just going to cause somebody not to like you. Which I'm sure you don't care, but I think that you care a little bit because it might be somebody you like. Like, you're keeping your emotions to yourself and that's bad. Like, it's, like, someone might even perceive that, like, you know, you're doing something cruel on purpose. You know, because Queen of Cups right here could also be, um, like, Scorpio Cancer or Pisces. But I feel like this is more of you. If it's not, this person is at the crossroads, but they don't really have a clear idea about what to do. And then all the fighting isn't helping either. And I think 
you might know that too, but I really feel like that's you um, keeping your emotions in and that's causing everyone to get the wrong perception of you. But that was it for y'all fire signs. That was your shadow of judgment. Thank y'all for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to uh, judge you if you don't. It's up to you, really. I appreciate it one way or another. I will see you guys later, and you take it easy now, okay? Love yous. Bye-byes.